Evening, evening, evening. Thank you for coming out. So, the folks here at ASAP told us when preparing for tonight to avoid any subjects that might be considered controversial. That meant no religion, no politics, and no cussing, which I found a bit ironic because it was in the military that I lost my faith and learned how to cuss. I mean, the Army did not care about my feelings when they sent me overseas to do unspeakable acts of violence. However, they're worried you fine folks will be offended if I say anything stronger than poopy head. I don't get it. <clears throat> they also told us when writing to think about things we're passionate about, like family, friends, hobbies, etc. And I was like, what if I'm passionate about chocolate cake? I know, I look like a man who's passionate about chocolate cake, it's okay. My wife hates the fact <clears throat> that I have such an intimate relationship with desserts. Not because she's concerned with my health, no, don't get me wrong. You see, she blames me for making my daughter a chocoholic. And as a parent, I'll admit, I'm not proud that I turned my sweet little girl and gave her a sweet tooth. And I hate sharing my desserts. <laughs> Tomorrow is Veterans Day. Give it up for all the veterans out. Yes. I love Veterans Day. Because let me tell you, with my retired ID card and just a little bit of planning, I eat free all day, <laughs> including that chocolate cake. Well, <clears throat> right now I'd like to share something a little personal. I sincerely believe comedy heals. And I truly hope that the smiles and laughter that we have shared will somehow relieve all the stress, even if for a moment, that life has given you guys. Okay? So, <clears throat> thank you. So with that, in March of this year, I was diagnosed with stage four cancer. And a couple months after my diagnosis, my wife and I are relaxing at the house, and she looks at me and tells me her belly's upset. Now, being a child of the 80s, I look at her and go, it could be a tumor. And she quickly replies, it's not a tumor. <laughs> and for all of you other old people that got the really bad kindergarten cop joke, I appreciate you. I just want to say that now. <laughs> but then my wife looks at me real serious and goes, honey, I know it's not a tumor because cancer is not contagious. Oh my God. At that moment, I was conflicted. I didn't know whether to punch her in the throat or give her a hug. I was like, but since my diagnosis, all my friends and family regularly ask me, how are you feeling? And don't get me wrong, I appreciate the sentiment. I appreciate the concern. However, whenever I tell them I'm doing fine, thank you, they inevitably follow that up with, looking good today, Tony. You're looking good, which is really messing with my self-esteem. Because how ugly was I before I got cancer? <laughs> I mean, seriously, has cancer really made me that better looking? Because they never said that before. But it's okay. I'm a guy I believe if life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. That's why I'm making a career change. I'm going to become a model. Okay, that's not that funny. <laughs> no, I figure if cancer has me looking good all the time, imagine how many magazine covers I'm gonna get once I contract HIV. <laughs> Strike a pose. <laughs> Folks, my name is Tony. I appreciate you playing along with me tonight.